Welcome back, my gamers. Whoa! I finally got my slimy paws on Pokemon 151. I'm pretty excited about this set. There's been a lot of hype around it. We're gonna see if it's worth all that yapping. First product we're gonna talk, yo, binder fart. First product we're gonna talk about today is the binder collection. Now, this thing is like hefty. Like probably a couple pounds, I don't know. Not like a, I'm not freaking a scale, but it is, it's hefty. And apparently this binder in here is actually pretty nice. So we're gonna crack into it. I've never had a, a binder for my Pokemon cards. I had like, I guess I had one as a kid, kind of, but not like a nice one. Surely not as nice as this. So it is like heavy. Um, it's got this nice strap, some tissue paper. It seems nice. I wonder if there's actually like exactly enough spots for the full number of cards. I guess we'll see. I, I would like to finish this set if possible. Then we got four packs in here. I believe this product goes for like 25 bucks or something. So as far as the price per pack, horrible. But you do actually like get a usable item with it rather than like a crummy promo. So my initial thoughts is this is probably actually a decent deal. So we'll, we'll go in here and start opening. Man, this set has some good stuff in it. I obviously, this is my first first pack ever opening. And I, I though I have watched some videos about it, I have not watched tons because I kind of wanted this to be a little more fresh, you know? So we got some, some Venonat in the forest. Poliwhirl celebrating a great victory. There is a sweet Poliwhirl card in here. Some Kakuna with the mushrooms, Poliwag. Parasect being uh, like possessed, I guess, like he normally is. Giovanni, Cloyster, some Butterfree action. Ekans, like a water, water paint. What is that, water paint? Yeah, whatever. Okay, I mean, it is a full art. It's, it's Jinx though. I'm not gonna scream and get super excited, but you know, it's fine. I've heard iffy things about the hit rates in this set, like, it might not be as good as uh, like the general Scarlet and Violet sets have been because they've been pretty good. It's just kind of weird that they would like lower the hit rates for like an exciting set. Okay, that seal is lounging. He's straight up chilling. Get it? Because he's like in the... Okay, we have got the nut view of Doduo. Tentacool, some complimentary colors there. Cool. Victory Bell. Big air balloon. Yeah, man. I hate small air balloon. Primate with the fart sky. Oh, whoopsie, I almost didn't show you Goldeen. The Alakazam EX. Okay, I mean, <laughs> that's two for two. Not gonna lie, it's seeming okay. We got the big spoon. Just, just a bite, sir. It's kind of weird, like I'm actually gonna put all these cards in the binder, so I, I kind of want to see n new comments. I mean, how many sets are, how many packs does it take to actually like get all the commons? Like probably not that much, but okay. We got the Pikachu Farfetch with the freaking tomatoes chasing him down the sewer. What in the world? Like what is he doing in the, in the gutter? Somebody curb stomped him or something? Old Amber, antique old Amber for the double negative there. Really needed that. Grabber. <laughs> yep. A grabber. I barely know her. Energy stickers. Possessed Paris, Slowbro. With this freaking humongous butt in the sand. The Mr. Mime. Okay, I do like the cartoon art style. He's got like a little cityscape on the side and he's, I guess he's like maybe shading his pants. I'm not really sure what these green lines are, but that's what it seems like to me. Oh, so far, I'm, I'm not thinking it's too hard to get stuff from here. I guess the Mr. Mime is, oh, shoot. Okay, this is sick. Wait, okay, I did hear about these. Yes, this is like um one of the special things about this set. That is so cool. I don't know if you can see super well on the camera, but that is like a beautiful hollow. Wow, like why do I want these more than actually anything else? Okay, so I, I don't take the energy off of these. I gotta leave the energy on the back. Okay, we got the psychedelic. No, this is, is this psychedelic ghastly? I don't really know, it's just weird. Weird art, that's boring. About a self-destruct, I guess. Krabby, Erica's invitation. Invitation? Invitation? Okay, yep. Yep, Manito Queen. <laughs> Articuno, my boy, with the Flareon on the end. Okay, that's pretty cool. These hollows are looking sharp. I'll give them that. All right, and then we got the ETB. This ETB was like 50 bucks. Normally I'll wait until they drop like 
normally they drop to like 30 eventually before they go up again, but this is like a really special set, so I don't know if it'll do that. Okay, this is um, it's just crummy paper. Just It's not like shiny at all like the other ones. I don't really know if I care about the player's guide being s like slippery or not. I don't know if I care if it slips out of my grasps, but yeah, whatever. This one's pattern is just all the little Pokemans. I'm not sure if this design actually has all 151. Maybe it does. If it does, that's like actually really cool. If it doesn't, it still looks cool, but it's a nice box. All right, we got our code. Definitely some of my favorite sleeves. It's just cool looking. I like this design. The dividers are the same on both sides. Yeah, no my shitting hell way. They changed the little dice. They're white. They look really cool. And the clear big one. Cool. Still shitty. Yes! You guys know I love a good promo, and this one is excellent. Uh, mine is maybe a little bent, but not too bad. I've heard some of them are in horrible condition, but Snorlax on the blocking the path, the little pond, you got a Pidgey, we got a Diglett. I don't know, it's pretty awesome. Alrighty, and we got our nine packs. But before that, it's time for Torque Magic Pack. Going to this pissed drinker. Bounty is five today, <laughs> so hopefully we, we can get you something. I'll be opening up to five packs to to get a hit, hollows don't count. You guys know the rules. Comment and like on this video if you want a chance at next videos. Also sub, yeah, idiots. Thought I was gonna leave that off, nope. Clink, clink, clang, Miss Magius, shit. We got just Silver Tempest today. Hopefully we get something, a little something something for the piss drinker. Primordial Altar. Dedenny, oh yeah, I do love some Dedenny. Quad Stone, Sand Isle, Togedemaru. We got all the little Pika clones here. Yep, there's Pikachu. <laughs> that's, I think that's all three. Okay, there we go. Some Rock Ruff, congrats. A little something. This is a cool card. I haven't seen it. Um, and let's see if we can get you a double. Nope. But yeah, here you go. Puppy, doggy. Back to the Mew. The search for Mew. I actually, I actually am not looking for Mew. I don't really... It's not, okay, I leave the energy. It's not that I don't care what I get from here, but I, I I haven't looked enough to know like what I really want. Like obviously Charizard, cool. I think there's like some Pagiotto cards that are cool. Hitmonchan harnessing the power of the sun. Yeah, that's fine, but Seeking, you haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Muck, I don't think we've seen him either. Or Grimer, right next to each other, cool. Vaporeon. So there must be like a Jolteon Hollow as well, maybe even an EV Hollow. I, I, I actually, Oh, whoops. Actually, like, want to get all the different hollows. Kind of fun. If you are, like, working on collecting a full set, I, I think it adds to the experience, certainly. You know what I think about, though? What I've been thinking about a lot lately? The video from, like, Dome Fossil. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. My longest yeah boy ever. Yeah, boy! It's been on the mind. Just... Living up there, you know, in my head, making me think about it kind of often, low key. The Kangaskhan EX, the basic energy, little Nino right there. It's just a kind of a shaping video for me. Um, where's that guy at? Does he still have a channel? I might have to research that a little bit. I miss him. Maybe he can he can beat his longest yeah boy. He's probably had bigger lungs at this point. It's probably feasible to think he could do it again, but better. Okay, we got some Hitmonlee kicking. So, I mean, every Pokemon in 151 is Kanto, obviously, and I'm assuming every Kanto Pokemon is in this set. Okay, we got the Mr. Mime Secret Rare card. Not my favorite I've seen, to be honest. It, I don't really know what they're doing, like having a little cult meeting in the forest, it kind of looks like, but you know, it's not bad. The Chansey at the end, that's cool and cute. Yes, finally, Steel Energy. Steal my, my balls. Steal my... Don't steal... Yep, you get the point. On we go. This is just a, a little bit of an exciting special set. Sometimes the special set is, is a little too hyper-focused on something I don't give it a little shit about. Like Champion's Path, for example. Not cool. In my in my opinion. Which is like a very educated opinion, but... Double, double Butterfree today. Leftovers. Vaporeon, we already got you, and not cool.
Okay, we hadn't seen Shelter yet, nor had we seen Antique Helix Fossil. Slowpoke. Is there? Is that the second Slowpoke card we've seen? It's kind of nice. He kind of is looking... What is he looking like? A pig. Yeah. What is Slowpoke supposed to be? He's not supposed to be a pig. I can't really remember what he, what, what his, like, inspiration is from. Ammonite. Cool. Goldine. Goldine kind of looks like she would be in um, Fishtails, you know? This is a sick Aerodactyl card. Jeez. You didn't have to go that hard. And the Nidoking Hollow and that. When I, <clears throat> when I first heard about a um, Kanto set, I got so excited. I was like, yes, Crowback card. But uh, hey, that's not how it works. Can He's actually not in Kanto. It's a little, little confusing. And as a kid, I, I never understood that. But now that I'm 22 years old, I do understand that Crowback is not in Kanto. Okay, that's a nice Scyther action, cutting a tree down. But doesn't he actually not learn cut? Isn't that like some lore? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Charmaine looking like a pissed off teenager as he does. Almanite again. The Aerodactyl. Okay, this is a hollow card I'd actually enjoy getting. It just looks right. And and I like the fact that like he's not hollow, but the background is. It just makes him pop a little. Pretty cool. Down to the last three of the 151. Yeah, this is a set that I'll probably try to buy like all the products in the set. Just so I can actually get those promos for once. I know I always hate Hate, hate, hate on those promos. But I'm gonna have to buy them. Abra, hiding from freaking Mufasa. He, why does that ticklet look huge? Like these are probably like little tiny seedlings, but it makes him look like he's a mountain and those are trees. Fun, interesting. Taros. Okay, Taros being like super meta in Gen 1 is like pretty awesome. Yes, Kadabra, his return, he's back. Missed him. Bulbasaur, yeah, Squirtle. Don't think we'd seen that one either, to be honest. And the McChamp, he's got the spotlight on him. The coolest thing I've heard about these packs is you can get like, it's not actually like a God pack per se, because not every card is a hit in the pack. People are calling them like evolution packs, where basically you get like the full evolution line of a starter, like the Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard card in one pack. You know, that would be a special experience. Okay, why is everything set in freaking Lion King? That is definitely a scene. The circle of life goes on. Meowth, looking a little bit more cat-like than human-like. Okay, Giovanni, sorry. Ekans with the watercolor. And Charizard EX. Um, not a big fan of these EXs, but it's Charizard, so. Okay, okay, let's go. Some electric hollow. Cool. Like having a full deck with of these energies would be awesome. Here it is, boys. The last 151. Psych, I'm gonna wait to open this. We're gonna open this Crown Zenith uh, triple box thing for fun with the Rillaboom pin. This is actually a cool pin, to be honest. It has a double pokies. This is like an actual promo as well, as you can see by the number down there, if not just a, a Cosmos Hollow, as they call it. We got three of these. Crown Zenith packs. This is definitely top three sets from Sword and Shield, in my opinion. But we'll, we'll let it speak for itself as I get something hype in here. Chat talk. Rating Charizard. See, bitches, that's what I was saying. And the Leafeon V. Great stuff. This is just what you get when you buy Crown Zenith. In my mind, Pokemon 151 was going to be like crown zenith but i wonder if they save like this level of hype for the last set from a series like crown zenith is the last set from sword and shield maybe they'll do something similar for the last of the sword and shields what scarlet and violets i don't know maybe that's a, a couple years off i would assume i don't i don't know the exact like new series schedules uh, I, I'm not sure about that, but it's not like every like three years or something every four years I don't I don't know they release new generation something like that lost vacuum. I wish I lost my vacuum then I wouldn't have to Clean my house. <laughs> that sounds quite gross. Actually. I, I do like having a clean house Irid Irida ah. yes! <laughs> Like that Irida cards actually probably worth something but I don't care. I just don't care. Like, after I, I got that um, Serena card or whatever, 
in my last video to give away. I had some people that I know that watch my channel be like, dude, like that sucks. I bet you're so pissed. You have to give that away. And I was like, I don't really care about a Serena card. That's a Sigma Choke card though. I'm just not a, I'm not a huge like trainer, double, double dongs. Uh, not a huge trainer card fan. So don't really give a vile plume. Couldn't finish it with a cool energy, but that's the 151. I didn't get anything like psycho, psycho crazy, but I'm pretty happy about that. That's five out of 14 packs. That seems pretty good to me. Right, so here's the values and whatnot. Uh, bye gamers.